Hi, I'm Kyle, Program Manager for the Tulip Experience Center. Here in the tech, we manage all of our inventory through Tulip. We use Tulip tables to handle our inventory, lot, and batch information, and we allow our workers to submit fulfillment requests if they run out of parts at a certain station. So let's say here at my DC motor assembly, I run out of parts. Let's say I run out of rotors today. If I scan, my Tulip app will take me to a fulfillment request page. Here, I can see previous requests for this part, more information about it, and even an average lead time to get an idea of how long it'll take to get this part back in stock. Once I indicate my quantity and add any notes, I can hit Submit Request. Now, through the Tulip platform, my supermarket has already been notified of my incoming request, and I can see any information about it on my ProGlove. Now that a station has submitted an inventory fulfillment request, I can now see these on my inventory screen over at my supermarket. If I select a specific request, it's going to tell me the item that it needs, and it's going to light it up on my light kit driven pick to light system. Additionally, I'm also going to see the details of that request on my ProGlove, so I don't even need a screen to be able to pick what I need. If I scan the bin that I need, Tulip fulfills the request and automatically prints a new bin label back at station A. Another couple things I can do with Tulip here at my supermarket include being able to see an overview of my items. If I pick any certain bin, I can have it light up on my light kit. Similarly, if I scan, I can have the same kind of functionality. Now, this bin grid is a custom widget. If your Tulip process requires something highly specialized or custom, you can also use full code properties within Tulip. Custom widgets are embedded web objects in Tulip apps. With a little JavaScript, HTML, and CSS, we created a grid where we configure the amount of rows and columns of these bins, and if we click on one, it returns the ID of the bin in question. Now, other things that I can do here, I can view the item details to see more information about my part, including any kind of financial or inventory information that is available to the Tulip platform. Moreover, I can even change the location of these items. With this Tulip process, I'm allowing my workers to interact with my database in a way that is both protected, clean, and standardized based on how I make the app. Finally, I don't have a printer here at this station, but that's no problem. If I ever want to print a new label, I know that I have a printer over at station A, and I can interact with it from this app by hitting print new label here. A new label prints over at station A ready for the new inventory record. Tulip processes allow your workers and users to interact with your custom inventory system in a way that is controlled and standardized. Moreover, by connecting to your ERP, MES, or data within Tulip, you can display information to your workers, like reporting, financial, or inventory stock information. Finally, the interconnected Tulip platform allows workers to submit requests, print labels, and communicate across locations, all from their own station.